Hey Cam fam, welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Cam. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. If you're a returning subby, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have our toddler boy hairstyle number 78. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because this is actually a three part video. We're in part two. In the first part, we were cutting the hair. So we trimmed off the edges. As you can see, we have a blunt looking cut here. Um, and now we're gonna start our styling process. So as you can see, I am sectioning the hair in the back. So I have sectioned out the back from ear to ear. And then I'm gonna cut that into two just to, to put it away um, with the ends being cut like this is gonna be a little bit harder for it to stay braided, but you can add um, elastics if you need to just get the hair out of your way. So now I'm going in and I'm using his nose and his forehead just to make sure that I am um, getting a straight part. We're gonna go from the forehead down to the back um, we're going to stop right where we sectioned that other part off and i'm going to make a bit of a triangle in the middle of his head we are going in and creating a number so it's going to be six because this is his birthday party hairstyle he turned six so we're going in and we're just going to give ourselves a little bit of room to get that six in here and then we're going to do the style around it so we're starting off with the six i am making sure that i get a good size of hair sectioned off you don't want it to be too big because it's just going to be chunky and it's not going to be cute but again you don't want it to be too small because it is something that's a little bit intricate and you want to have enough space and enough hair to work with it all right so now we're getting started with the six design itself so i'm going in at the top of that triangle part that i had sectioned off and i'm going to be starting with the uh, curved line that goes leftward that makes the six so I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom I'm not gonna make it too thick I'm also not gonna make it too thin just eyeball it make sure it looks um, a decent size and then I'm going to separate that off twisting it up and putting it away um, you can take your time you can go go back even if you've kind of sectioned things off and you're starting to work through it and you're like you know what this doesn't work for me I did that a thousand times and you'll see me here sitting and looking and just thinking about is this the placement I want um, but you just have to take your time and make sure that you are happy with what you're doing so once I've got the top of the six the line of it done I'm going now with the bottom which is the circle part and I did it a little bit rough. I do go back in and I clean that up, um, but I am sectioning off the hair again, just so I can see the six itself. As you see here at the bottom, I'm going in and making sure that this line is curved. I don't want it to look off. The part needs to be, the part is very important when you're doing styles like this. As you see here, I'm still just looking and thinking, waiting, seeing how I'm gonna execute this. But you have to make sure that whatever you're doing, the lines, the parts are very, very neat. Okay, so once I have the stem of the six figured out, I'm going to section it off and just put it away, and I'm gonna work on the body of the six. So I'm going in and I'm cleaning up the shape, but I'm also carving out the middle of that body. Um, it's kind of just like I'm hollowing it out, like if you were drawing it and you would draw like the outside and the inside of the number, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going in, making sure that not only the outside of the body of the six is uh, neat and circular. I'm also going to make sure that the inside is neat and circular as well. Once everything is looking good, I am now braiding it off and I am going to put it, not put it away because it's in the middle of the uh, braid, but I'm just making sure that it is braided and it can't get into anything that I'm doing, any stray hairs, any flyaways, anything like that. So now I'm going in and I'm making sure that everything, listen, the key of this is just going over 20 times to make sure everything looks good. So I'm going to start with the Lock and Pomade. This is the braid formula. It's by Eben New York. Let me let you know that this is like a scam. When you take the top out, look at how, that is not uh, 6.3, 180 milliliters. Like that is nothing and we pay so much money for it and it's just it's insane but i'm going in with that because it's more like it's the pomade like i said it's more um thicker and i just kind of like that texture um for what we're doing if it's just kind of like regular braids i'm kind of okay with using the shine and jam um but i wanted something that was going to keep a little bit more shape a little more mold to the hair that i'm braiding 
um, just to make sure that again definition comes out in this braid now i apologize this is a little unfocused but it does get better bear with me all right here we are so i'm starting at the very top very very thin thin pieces of hair as I'm braiding. We want this braid to stay as small and as neat as possible. Make sure you're taking away all the flyaways as you go. You're going to follow along the part. You're not going to deviate from that. Just braid it down as you've um, sectioned it out. You're going to be turning a little bit. You're going to be connecting a little bit, but just pay as much attention to it as you can. So we're going to go and we're going to just go all the way down the left side and then we're going to come back up and go into the middle so as you can see here i'm collecting the hair and i'm repositioning my body it is a little bit easier when you're not recording because you don't have to be mindful of making sure that the camera doesn't just get your full back um, but just keep moving your body along um, you're, you're going to keep moving your body to the right um, so that you can continue the six to be curved collect the hair as you braid and you're just going to braid it up into the center so as you can see here i've repositioned myself again i'm still moving my body to the right um but i'm just now uh, above his head instead of beside him so as you see here i'm going in all the way to that middle part this is exactly why we had this section here um, braided out we can't get any hair in anywhere so we've braided around that part that we had um, sectioned off in the middle. Don't braid all the way down because you're still going to need this. Once you unbraid the middle, you're going to go back now and you're going to braid that original six into the middle and you're just going to keep going around in a circle, kind of like a snake. You're just snaking it around as much as you can if you can only do just a little bit and then you're gonna wrap it off that's fine but just braid it in as much as you can to the circle so once you do that part you are gonna braid all the way to the end because we're gonna wrap this up all the way around itself All right, so now for the star of the show, we're going in with our weaving thread. This is the nylon texture. I do not like the cotton. I feel like it kind of pulls on the hair and it can kind of just get tangled up. Not my, my go-to. So I'm going in and I am just threading this like a regular needle and thread, but make sure it is not a regular needle and thread. You do not want to poke your child in the head. So I'm going in after I've used quite a bit of thread. I just want to make sure that I have enough to make it through my whole style. Um, I'm just going to create some knots at the bottom big enough that it won't go through the hair, um, but not too many that it's just like this big chunk. So now I'm going back in and I'm replacing the uh, body because if we don't sew this in it's going to keep unraveling like this and then that just defeats the whole purpose of the style not every braided number or letter needs to be sewn but some of them do because there's like you know moving parts to it so once i put it all back together i'm going to start sewing through the body um you can start through the stem to the body you can just go straight into the body whatever works for you i'm putting the thread the needle through and then i'm i opened up the thread and I put the needle through that. That way it's just an extra anchor, just extra safety when you're um, threading through so that it doesn't get lost and that it actually stays together. You don't have to do it every single time, but it is the best way to start and finish. So now as you continue along, you're just going to drape the whole thread over. So you're going to open it up like a circle. You're going to place it on the opposite side and just let the needle work like come through it and continue along as you can see here if you don't keep this tight enough you will get knots you will get them you will get the thread kind of making a, a mess for you and the hair will come out so make sure you keep everything tight you keep one hand on it the other hand sewing um, or if you need to keep a clip to hold and help you do that as well but just make sure you keep everything tight so as you see here I'm continuing continuing along um, I'm going through the body into the stem and I'm just making sure that the six design actually comes to life and that it actually looks that way you don't want to go too tight you don't want to do too much sewing especially because this is just a small design but you want to make sure everything is secure um, I would recommend using thread that is close to your child's hair color so he does have like a dark dark brown color to his hair um, so I'm just using the regular black you could go with dark brown but I wouldn't recommend doing like a light brown or a blonde or something in this hair because then you'll see it um, there's nothing wrong if it if it does show but it's just nice to kind of have it blend in and give the illusion of the braid just being held together by itself 
please keep in mind just as easy it is to sew the hair it's going to be just as easy to take it out um, as you can see the thread is visible after you sew it off so once you're ready to take this hairstyle down all you have to do is get your scissors do a, a slight cut anywhere that's accessible not close to your child's hair and it will then allow you to unravel everything so once I have it in enough places and I feel like my design looks great, I'm going to go off and tie this off and finish it up. So I'm doing probably about three. I'm just making sure that it's extra secure. You don't want to pull and push too much or it's going to kind of distort the shape. Cut directly underneath the knot that you made and voila, you are done. So this is it. This is what it looks like. This is the rest of the style. I will give you guys that in part three. This was part two. Head back to part one if you need to know how to cut their hair. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Thumbs up this video if you like it. And ask us any questions or comments in the comment section. Bye.